Hello, I'm Mr. T, elementary teacher at the Montessori Academy at Belmont Green in Ashburn, Virginia. I want to take you on a trip today. And in the trip, we're going to explore the world of mathematics and the world of numbers. And at the end of our trip, we're going to understand how the number system that's been used by Western civilization for a thousand years, more than a thousand years, how that number system actually works. And you'll be able to use our numbers, the biggest numbers you want, in any kind of mathematical operations that you choose to do. So come along with me on this trip down Infinity Street. <clears throat> the houses on Infinity Street are interesting. They have families living in them. And let's begin with the small house at the beginning of Infinity Street. In that house, at the start of Infinity Street, there's a place for babies. There's a place for mommies. And there's a place for daddies. And that family has a name. The first family in Infinity Street and our number system is called the simple family. And the simple family sometimes gets mail and the postman needs to know where to put the mail to make sure he gets it in a simply, simple family's house so they have their own mailbox. The second family on Infinity Street lives in a little bit bigger house, but it has a place for babies. It has a place for mommies. And it has a place for daddies. And that family, second family on Infinity Street, has a name. It's the Thousands family. And of course, if the Thousands family gets mail, the postman has to know where to put the Thousands family's mail, so they have their own mailbox. We're continuing on Infinity Street. We started at the beginning. The next house on Infinity Street has a place for babies, has a place for mommies, has a place for daddies. And the family that lives there has a name. It's called the Millions Family. Many of you guys probably knew that. But we're continuing on Infinity Street. And we can go all the way to infinity. Watch. Mr. T forgot. The mailman who's going to bring mail to the million family has to have a post office box. There it is. The next house on Infinity Street. <clears throat> Bigger house. But like all the houses on Infinity Street, it has a place in the family for babies, a place in the family for mommies, has a place in the family for daddies. And of course, there's a name for the family that lives in that house on the Finnish Street, and that's the Billion Family. Billion Family gets mail, the postman has to have a box to put them in, and there it is. The next family on Infinity Street <clears throat> has a bigger house. But, like all the family, like all the houses, it has a place for babies. It has a place for mommies. And it has a place for daddies. And the name of that family, anybody know? It's the Trillion family. Slide over here a little bit. Continuing on down Infinity Street, bigger house, bigger family, but they have a place for the babies, a place for the mommy, a place for the daddies, big family. And of course, there's a name. It's the quadrillion family. Oh, Mr. T, I forgot the mailbox again. 
for the trillion family. The quadrillion family? Oh, shut. And the quadrillion family? That's a mailbox. The next house on Infinity Street is the Quintillion family. And the Quintillion family has a baby. It has a mommy. And it has a place for a daddy. And as I said, jumping the gun, it's a Quintillion family. Well, I'm going to stop there. But it's really important to know that this street continues to infinity. There's a next house, which is the sextillion house, and then houses after that all the way to infinity. The numbers, the families keeping, keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, so we have place values. The place value here, the babies, is the unit place value in our number system. The mommy's place value is the tens place value. And the daddy's place value is the hundreds place value. And in our Montessori math system, you can see that we always have the units, a green, the tens place, a blue, and the hundreds place a red. Now, let's make a number with our Infinity Street materials. So in the simple family, we have three units in the unit place value. We have five tens in the tens place value. And we have eight hundreds in the hundred place value. So I can just read that number. That number is 853. The simple family. Continuing on Infinity Street to the next family, the Thousands family, we have nine <laughs> units in the Thousand family. We have four tens in the ten place value. And we have seven hundreds in the hundred place value. So if I read that number, it's 749. And because I see a mailbox, I have to say the family's name, 1,853. I don't have to say it, simple family, because we know that's the beginning of Infinity Street. So I don't have to say it. But every time I see a mailbox, it's a comma. I got to stop and say the name of the family that lives in that house. I'll do a couple more for you. <clears throat> We're going to move down Infinity Street. <clears throat> Notice the numbers are getting bigger. The houses are getting bigger. The units, the tens, and the hundred places, they're all getting bigger. But the numbers are the same. One to nine. Two units. One ten, four hundreds. Now I can read that number. That number is four hundred twelve. I have to say the play, the family million seven hundred forty nine. I have to say the family thousand eight hundred fifty three. Do I say simple? No. Let me do one more. And again, we're going down Infinity Street. The numbers are getting big. We're already in the millions. Now, I have three units in the place value, unit place value of the billion family. I have six tens in the ten place value of the billion family. And I have four in the hundred place value of the billion family. And I can read that number. Four hundred... 63 mailbox billion 412 
million seven hundred forty nine thousand eight hundred fifty three we can continue going to quintillion and in another lesson i'll show you what we call hierarchy street where we go much further than that but in every one of these families of numbers in every one of these houses there's a units place there's a tens place and there's a hundreds place and i can put any number of units, any number of hundreds, uh, of tens, any number of hundreds, up to nine in any one of the families and make huge numbers. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to make your own big numbers at home and see how many uh, place values and houses you can put on your Infinity Street. So that's the lesson of Infinity Street that I wanted to show you guys today. I hope you found it interesting and understand that this is the basis for our number system. And if you can do addition with just the simple family, the hundreds place, the units of uh, the tens place, and the units place, then you can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with every family in the number system. Because it's all the same. Every family, no matter how big the number, has units, tens, and hundreds place values. And you know what to do with them. This is Mr. T signing out.